The Bonnie Carey Spillway is, is an outlet for the Mississippi River. Really what it does is protect the city of New Orleans from flooding. When you get enough water coming down the Mississippi River, they open gates that let the water out of the Mississippi River, take pressure off the levees downstream, and they let it out through this lake. And where we are in the lake right now, it gets a lot of fresh water when that spillway opens. The spillway opened earlier this year in January. It filled this lake up with a lot of water from the Mississippi River, but what that usually does, the following fall, late summer and fall, it causes an absolute explosion in the bait fish population. All of that nutrients, all of that mixing with the salt water that's in the eastern part of the lake causes a tremendous uptake in the number of white shrimp and mullet and menhaden and even crabs that are in this basin. It's really, you know, makes this a world-class fishery for a couple of years after it opens up. Earlier this year, the Bonnie Carey Spillway was opened in January. It had never been open in its almost 100-year history that early in the year. So, of course, being a guide on Lake Pontchartrain for going on 20 years, I got asked a lot of questions. Will this affect our good fishing in the spring? And I didn't feel it would affect our fishing in the spring because it's only important that our fish have high salinity when they're spawning. So it does not interfere with the trout when they're not spawning. And sure enough, when March got here and the, weather, and the water temperatures warmed up enough when we started fishing, there were trout here and it was business as usual. The water was dirty on the top, but it was nice and clean on the bottom. And we caught lots of numbers of fish and good sized fish. So it was business as usual. Now since then, we have seen an explosion in bait fish, crabs, and shrimp. Well, all the fresh water that came into the lake back in January when the spillway was open and during the floods really caused an explosion in the grass beds uh, all around the rim of the lake. Uh, and in all the canals and bayous where we have grass beds and on the grass flats in the lake itself, there have been speckled trout, bass, redfish all throughout the fall. Uh, that is the basis of this ecosystem. That grass is so important to the water quality here, to keeping the water clean, to giving the, the food and the, and the predator fish a place to hide and a place to live. It really is the lifeblood of, of this system. Well, since the opening of the Bonnie Carey Spillway in January, we've really seen an explosion in lots of the ecosystem in Lake Pontchartrain. We had a very good year for shrimp. We had a very good year for crab. Consequently, we led up to having a very good fall for speckled trout. You know, when you open up a diversion, it's certainly gonna move around fisheries while the diversion's operating. In some fisheries like oysters, it may displace them into other areas, but those, there are other areas that'll become more productive. But what it does for predator fish and for forage base and what it does for crabs and shrimp and mullet and all the things that are important to our bass and redfish and speckled trout and even our offshore fish is it gives them a place to live. And we're losing so much habitat here in Louisiana that whatever we can do to bring back some of those natural processes that let our grass beds grow, give our, our ecosystem a chance, those things are very important. So what the state of Louisiana is, is, is talking about doing, what's coming up in another master plan in 2017 to restore this coast is diversions. Again, diversions to move sediment, to rebuild marsh, to move water and nutrients out of the Mississippi River and restart this system again and give other places the kind of beneficial grass and food supply and things that we're seeing in Lake Pontchartrain this fall.